Hello, lovelies. Welcome to another episode of Wedding Wednesday Q&A, where we answer your wedding questions. Today's question is, is buffet tacky for a wedding? Well, it can be, but if you plan it effectively, it can definitely work. Depending on the number of your guests, you can set up planned logistics and activities or entertainment to help manage the buffet system. Also, if you're opting for a buffet, ensure that you have heavy hitters during cocktail hour, like mini burgers and fries. Appetizers that can hold up your guests a little longer as they wait their turn to get their dinner. Today, we share creative and strategic tips that can help make buffet not tacky at all. First on the list is have more than one station. Here is a sample of a floor plan using round tables where you can provide enough space for the lineup of the buffet to not bump into the guests on the dinner tables. Setting up more than one station or having at least two to three stations depending on your guest count to manage the lineup will help with the experience. It will also be beneficial if you break down the tables. For example, set up a table only for the salads and appetizers, then another separate one for the mains, and then another one for the dessert. They don't have to be too far apart, but they can be at least four to six feet apart. This separation gives us space for the next person to wait for the people in front of them as they still serve themselves. As opposed to one long table where guests tend to feel rushed to pick and serve themselves because they know they will hold up the line if they don't do so quickly. Give them a chance to look and actually admire the food and even talk about it with the people around them. Making it an enjoyable and social experience will elevate the feel of the buffet. Pro tip is to have your MC announce that their table will be escorted to the buffet table and have an usher actually come up to that specific table. If you have decided to work with a wedding coordinator or planner, you can also ask them to help you with this. If you do not want to have multiple stations, you can stick to one station only, but make sure to serve bread on the table. If you cannot set up two buffet stations, whether because of your floor plan or it will cost more than expected, consider serving bread on the table. Another thing to consider is to label, describe, and include ingredients. Guests with some dietary restrictions or just curious guests altogether will have to check the ingredients first. Unfortunately, this means they will need to speak to a server to ask what's in the food, which in turn might hold up the line. Putting the menu per table will help the guests know what dishes they're lining up for and what's in each of them. Essentially, they have already decided what they will eat even before they line up, which again makes that buffet system a little bit more efficient and faster. Now let's talk about entertainment. There will be some guests who will be sitting down and waiting for their turn. And setting up live entertainment instead of just having music playing in the background will help with their experience. Consider a live singer and a guitarist or a pianist to perform, preferably in the middle of the dance floor or a spot where all the guests can see them. Having a real live entertainment will keep your guests engaged. There are amazing performers that can read and engage your guests to ensure that they are entertained and not feel bored while waiting for their turn to eat. Activities that you can do while your guests are sitting on the table waiting for their turn. You can also schedule your couple photos per table during the waiting time. This will keep your guests occupied. Now let's talk about the presentation. We have got to level up the presentation. Think minimalistic tables, wooden elements, and lots of heights. Even if you're serving sandwiches, the presentation will elevate the way it looks. If you're still asking, is buffet tacky for a wedding? We hope this tips made you reconsider the tackiness aspect of it. 
consider the tips to help elevate the experience of your guests. Speak to a wedding consultant or your venue coordinator if you need help with creating a timeline and working around the logistics. The main challenges about the buffet are the lineup, the tacky presentation, and the waiting time. Calculate how much these tips will cost you extra and compare it to a sit-down dinner pricing. Then, if you're still saving more, which we think you still are, then making your wedding a buffet-style dinner is definitely a way to go. Adding details that we've mentioned in this video will help elevate the experience of your guests. There you are! Our insight on your question, is buffet tacky for a wedding? We say you can totally make it not tacky at all. As always, we are here to support you and inspire you to celebrate life and love. Download your free wedding planning kit linked in the description below and get more info on how you can send your wedding questions in as well as enter our monthly giveaway. Until next time, lovelies. Bye!